Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you well. So welcome to Riven Victor. So one of my one of my viewers have commented if I could make a deck that is anti mono shurima. And this is the deck that I that is my response to that viewer. So this deck is Riven Victor. So Riven Victor is uh, according to the stats the best deck that could counter mono shurima so let's look at the stats here so currently the most played deck in the world right now is azir a azir serat with 33,105 matches so this is 14.85 play rate and the deck that counters is is let's look at the worst matches it is the worst matches of it is riven victor so azir said that only wins 31.67 percent against riven victor okay so that is the deck that is the deck that i will be playing today this is riven victor so the reason why mono shurima are having a hard time with riven victor is because this has a lot of surprise damage and uh if you draw very well if you draw very not naughty on this deck you can close out the game before before the mono shurima can flip their sun disc so that's basically how you beat mono shurima you just have to make sure that you can kill them before they can kill you so how can you do that you just have to play aggressive decks that can finish the game uh before they reach the turn six wherein they can drop the sun disc or before they can reach that because before they can reach the turn that they can flip the sun disc so that's how you beat mono shurima okay so on, on the context of this deck we have a lot of surprise little with uh, ambushes putting it on a very buff ballistic bot we have the overwhelm from our blade fragments that can be used to one of our I attack units and we can surprise them with another attack from the wind reconer we also have here if we decided to go aggressive at like if we did a lot of damage at like turn turn five or turn four to opponent we can close out the game after that with uh over the top damage from get excited and mystic shots and also you have to remember that ballistic bot deals one damage to opponent and that one damage comes a long way so you have to be sure you have to take note that uh so the damage that you're dealing with ballistic bot adds up to the lethal capacity that the deck can do in this the deck the deck can do okay the damage that the ballistic bot deals that 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 one damage will be a lot more helpful in the lethal capacity that the deck can uh, put into the opponent's nexus okay so that's all for the explanation of the deck so see you again next time We got the Riven and we got two cuts of Mystic. Keep the Riven. Riven is very, help very helpful in this match. So far, so bad. No blade fragments. No turn to play. Okay. Even better. Okay, we got the fragments. So we'll just pass for this play. Next turn we'll drop the weaver. I think on the weaver. Weaver is the good one. Then we'll take the. Take that. 
So we can trade with this. Let's discard the... Uh, yeah, and wait. For the reason of anything. Let's discard this one. Doesn't do anything because the opponent has to use some uh, card. No effect at all. So for our turn, we'll get up the event. We'll drop the event for the free blade frag. So we're planning to be the... Turn 6 will be our going off turn. Wow. Okay, that's fine. Let's just pass. Let's just pass. We stick more. We can drop Victor. Or the double ballistic. What if we go near the plus ballistic? If we go near Android, plus ballistic go. Next turn we'll go for or. So let's try doing that. I am superior life form. The android. Behold me, hairless apes. Hairless apes. The sky. Okay, we'll take everything. All right, we'll take this. We're down to eight. Behold me, yeah. So let's drop the Vic. The Vic. The man with the glowing bee. Drop the hex for upgrade. I forgot I should have dropped the other ballistic bot. This is additional blocker. Mission. And then we'll attack. Depends. Fated. Let's use the keyword that is available. Okay, this is fine, I think. Twelve of thirty. Wow, do we have enough? Sky, past and present. Oh, well, he doesn't have he doesn't have it yet. He doesn't have it yet. He needs to destroy two landmarks and with with that amount of mana I think that will be hard. But I think we win the game, we win the game. Let's start with this first. Challenger, challenger.
That's fine. If we go for a different play, if we let him do that, he'll attack with everything. We'll use our, we'll use all our. I think we have to shoot this. Terror. So we're losing to the the two mana make it spaces. Okay, so we prevented him from killing our other ballistic bot. So let's grab the ignition. So we'll have to block properly. Black, 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 down to two. This is fine, this is fine. Victor Magtanggol. Victor 11 2. Give me something good. Next turn. A little keyword. Behold me, Yao. So let's let's do this. Let's do this. DG. We have get excited to close out. So that's fine. We can go for the wind back on there for more style. Hey, okay, let's try doing this. Okay. Garden in arms. Okay. Okay, very good. This is very good. If we get a good discard father for the zone urging, that's a very good group. It is what it is. We destroy the fizz. That would be significant. Me Android. So for this turn, I think I'll go for Donate. Okay, good for him. I'll drop the ballistic boss. Okay, he'll take he wants to pin deal to damage. We'll take that. Mm. can go for the photocon then we'll pass if it drops lulu okay which is did not what if we take this we let him what if we pass because if, if he drops lulu that will be very bad for us he'll just burst attack next we just open attack next. If he drops, uh, so I think we have to pass. We have to wait for him. Periscope. So it means he doesn't have Lulu. No Lulu yet. We can drop the Rune Weaver. It trades well with the telescope. Or we can drop updating Poro. So that our ballistic bot will become 2-3. Then follow up with Nyan Nyan Nyandroid. 
Behold me, y'all. And then I'll drop the ignition, probably. Ignition. Okay, game pass. That's very good because the opponent doesn't have the Yordle Captain. And that will be our problem. If the opponent has a lot of Yordle Captains in the field, we'll be outraded by him. And we'll lose the game. So we can drop the Daring Poro. Daring Poro. Let's start with Daring Poro. Which of, the, which of these deals the most amount of damage? Let's start with the healing pot. We can also drop the reason rider here. Looking for something. If it is a person blocker, I will drop an additional dealing photo. But if it is not a fearsome blocker, I will drop the reason rider because reason rider will deal a lot of damage to the opponent. So far we are dealing six damage on hand and this kind of deck doesn't have it. Uh, something like deny or deny or right of negation. The closest that they could have is the, the the discard. We call that. Wow. The closest that he has is the I forgot what it is. A loop traveler. So we can drop the So now that it comes to this can drop the ignition So let's just deal a lot of elusive damage to opponent. Behold me! Uh. Right. Mystic shot, get excited, excited. So we have 9 damage on hand. I think we win the game, we win the game. Let's start with Ignition and then get excited, get excited. Behold me now. We'll take everything. So far, we're locking one damage. Right, that one damage could be could came from a uh, daring photo. I'm sure he will try to kill the ballistic bot. Okay, he doesn't want to kill the ballistic bot. I think we're fine with that. So we'll just block. This is 31. Okay. He's reconsidering it. Okay. So we block. We block here. We block here. Block here. We're down to 10. I think this, this is this is lethal next turn. Lethal. Behold me! Let's start with this. Get excited. Let's get excited. Get excited. Mystic shot plus ballistic bot. Behold me! 
Next turn, drop the ballistic bot. There is no healing in this deck, I'm pretty sure. There is no healing here. GG. That's very good. 